the main thing is that enterprises are now re-architecting for sovereignty, for security, for AI, and for digital assets. The Incident Computer Protocol stack was actually built to unlock all of these. It becomes very relevant for enterprises and governments to look at the ICP tech stack, whether they want to deploy a sovereign cloud infrastructure, whether they want to run sovereign apps that are immune to access from foreign intelligence services, or whether they want to host AI models that are fully sovereign, they want to deal with digital assets, or they want to make use of uh, the new paradigm, which is the self-writing internet, which is about AI being able to prompt applications for you. In the course of that, over the past six, seven, eight months, um, we get more and more interest from institutional players, from governments, enterprises, and so on. We decided that now is the best time to uh, set up the ICP Alliance, which is an enterprise implementation partnership. We already have uh, on launch day already 12 partners, which are development shops, consulting companies, security companies, that are now selling ICP tech and implementing ICP tech um, with, with their respective clients. And the benefits of being part of the Alliance is that, number one, they're vetted from our end, so there's a bit of a stamp of approval as well, for clients that want to engage with them, but also they have priority access to our R&D team. Uh, they see the tech first, makes it much more easy for them to roll out whatever application they've built. Let's say one of our implementation partners in the Middle East, uh, they're building a document management system and it's going to run on mainnet and might also run on Utopia. Through the alliance, they can kind of market that application into other regions of the world. All in all, I think it's a very important puzzle piece for enterprise adoption of the ICP tech. And it's actually a process, so you can go to definity.org slash alliance, where you see the entire process. You can contact us and then, you know, there's a KYC check, there's the usual kind of checks and balances, and then there's a committee that's going to basically slot you in whether you're a member or whether you're a partner basically partner is for the more advanced companies that already have a track record in building icp tech the wallet market is a very important market right because on the one hand i think it's clear to all of us by now that the digital asset market in general will only continue to rise and that's cryptos like bitcoin icp but it is also going to be real world assets and in particular stable coins at the moment, if we look at it, there's only one way, and that is up in terms of demand, which means we're going to have a lot of people that need to deal with digital assets in the future. On the other hand, if I look at the wallet market today, the non-custodial wallet market is absolutely not ready for people using it on a mass adoption scale. It uses a security model that we believe uh, must be dramatically improved. What we developed is the OISI wallet. We incubated this at the Definity Foundation, which is a wallet purely designed for humans so it's a very sleek and super simple ui that anyone can use and understand it is multi-chain because we also believe that you cannot put the burden on users to use different wallets for different chains and here comes the internet computer chain fusion technology which allows you to basically store and manage all of your digital assets from underlying icp tech the third one, and that, that is an important one in the background, is the security model is network custody. With custodial wallets, you have the problem um, that obviously you don't own the keys, right? And we've seen that not turning out very well in the past multiple times. With non-custodial wallets, you'll put the burden completely on the user to have their private keys on their on their machine, to store their seed phrase. You know how many hackers are already like hunting for these seed phrases with very sophisticated attacks. And by the way, and these, these things often also happen through malicious code in browser extensions, um, through malicious code in apps. We decided to build OISI, a wallet that uses network custody. So your keys are stored by the network through advanced cryptography. It's in our point of view the safest model out there and it's the very seamless model because the only thing that users need to do is log in with their passkey, which is on the iPhone is their face ID or their fingerprint and the keys are stored and sharded in the network and no one can kind of reproduce the keys and, and steal them from the users. So abstract all the complexity about switching chains and about private key management away from the user and make it as easy as possible. OISI is also a browser-only wallet, so you can access it from anywhere in the world, from any device, because we want to keep it absolutely restriction-free. It has the benefit of running on the internet computer infrastructure, which means it's sovereign, can't be censored, 
the OISA team has been really busy. We just launched version 1.5 yesterday, which also now has an address book that lets you easily manage your contacts and send to your friends. It warns you about um, addresses you never used. We just integrated uh, Base, uh, BNB and Polygon and more chains are, are following very soon. You've seen that our friends from KongSwap showed the first native ICP Solana swap. That will be integrated in OISI. So from OISI, you don't need to leave the wallet. We believe the wallet is going to be the main interface for you. You can just swap all assets natively using ICP tag. So OISI is very unique in, in many different aspects. Number one is network custody. No one else uses network custody because that only works on the internet computer. Um, second is we went for that browser only approach. We are very aware of the risks that are attributed to downloading app. And the third one is the multi-chain aspect. You have wallets out there that can manage multiple chains now. Phantom can handle Bitcoin as well. But OISI will not only, is not only able to manage all of these different custodies, very, very soon OISI will be able to swap all of these assets natively. 